Hello, Valley family. Hey, it's Thursday, July 9th today. Getting ready for another good weekend uh, for our church family. Looking forward to Sunday when we get to gather for worship, either online or in person. You can uh, pre-register today to join us in person. If you want to, remember that we're having a celebration Sunday for Jonathan Miller this coming Sunday to thank him for his uh, years of good service with us as our full-time worship pastor. Uh, Jonathan's going to stay on our staff team but in a part-time way and uh, we want to just say thank you to him and honor him for all of his good work among us. So send a card. Uh, you still have time to send that to the church office. We're asking our church family to uh, submit um, a gift of money as well because we want to provide Jonathan and Nicole and their family the opportunity to have a weekend away. We thought that would be a nice gift from us so send a card uh, of thanks, uh, write some good things in there, let Jonathan know that uh, you've appreciated his ministry, uh, send him some money uh, and uh, you can send those right to the church office if you want to or you could bring it with you if you want to come in person on Sunday. We'd love to have you join us. Um, again, we're providing what we think is a safe environment on Sunday mornings with uh, social distancing, with masks, with uh, hand sanitization and all the rest so that you can participate in person in a safe way. And so um, maybe this is the week you want to decide to do that. If you want to continue to join us online at 1015, that's fantastic too. Uh, would love to have you think about joining us later on Sunday for our drive-in service at 5 p.m. as well when we'll continue the celebration and we'll have some frozen treats for kids. If adults sneak one, who's to say, right? So uh, come out at 5 o'clock and join us for our drive-in praise service. I haven't looked at the weather at all. I don't know what it's going to do. So um, just wanted to say that um, I think this time of uh, separation, it's been difficult for all of us, hasn't it? I think we've really discovered just how much being together as a church family means to each of us and how much strength we draw from just physically being together. I sure am missing that part of our church life. We're able to create opportunities to learn together and pray together and connect with each other, but it's really not the same as being together in the same space on Sunday mornings and Wednesday nights and sharing meals with all of you in homes or out at a restaurant. Uh, we've just been so limited in our ability to do that. Um, I wanted to just say that I think it's been even harder for our youth and our kids and for us to just take a moment and recognize that um, for our children and for our teenagers this has been really challenging as well and one of the things that always meant the most to me when I was a high school student and middle school student was um, the thing that really held me in the the church and and kind of was the glue to my Christian experience were my friends and being able to see them and do things with them and we've been doing our best to um, compensate for those things utilizing Zoom and the tools that are available to us, but um, it's really challenging, uh, not only for adults, but for kids. And so I just wanted to say to you parents, um, hang in there and persevere with us. And we know that the burden of um, encouraging your kids and discipling your kids and helping them grow in their Christian faith, that's really falling to you right now. And um, that's not a bad thing. We think that parents uh, are meant to be the primary spiritual influencers for their kids. And so maybe through that's one of the things that through this uh, season that we are learning about is that um, 
parents, and I'm not calling you out, I'm, I'm a parent with you, right? I have uh, kids at home. That, that burden of discipleship really falls to us. And so what's happening in our homes? It's important. Are we opening God's word with our kids? Are we praying with them? Are we praying for them? Are we helping them find ways to connect with God in meaningful ways and continue to grow during this time? Just because church ministry has been uh, changed and somewhat compromised by the COVID-19 crisis, that doesn't mean that opportunities to learn and grow and, and um you know, go deeper in our faith have stopped. I know that a lot of us adults have really found meaningful ways to keep doing that. But parents, just a reminder that that big responsibility largely falls to you right now. So I hope you're finding ways to uh, nurture your kids in their faith and encourage your kids in their faith. And uh, our uh, staff, Mike and Micah, and uh, the volunteers that work with them are doing what they can, but they can't do as much as they used to do. And so um, just want to encourage you parents today to say, uh, you can do it. You know enough. Um, You have some good resources at your fingertips. So, um, you know, take that time with your kids and uh, have God talk in your in your family okay Um, talk about your relationship with God ask questions um, explore ideas and find ways to grow in your faith at home during this time and I also want to say that the conversations that we've been having as a staff team um, we really want to when we're able to get back together to really make our ministry to children and youth a big priority in our church family. We want to become really good at discipling our kids and adults. I want you to think about one of the ways that we grow as disciples is to make disciples. And uh, the, the, the people who are in our midst, our young people, are um, people that we should be focusing on and helping them uh, come to know God and love God and understand what it means to live their lives with God and to serve him in joy and gladness. So we're thinking of ways that as a congregation we can prioritize that going forward and I'm looking forward to that and excited about some of the ideas we've been sharing. So um, looking forward to when we can get back together in safe ways for our kids and kind of get that rolling again. So just wanted to say today we are aware that kids and youth are um, struggling alongside of us and that we haven't forgotten about them and that we're doing our best and that we want you to do your best parents and that we're looking forward to some new initiatives and renewed initiatives when we're able to get back together. So I hope that's encouraging to you today. Let me pray for us. God, I pray for the young people in our congregation, for the very littlest kids up through our middle school and high school kids and just how they're um, coping right now and making it through this difficult season when they're missing their friendships, their not able to see um, adults, other adults from church in their lives who love them and who are meaningful to them as teachers and helpers. Um, God, I pray that you would help sustain their faith through this time and that you would encourage parents to uh, take on that role of primary spiritual teacher and influencer and uh, take time and utilize the resources that you've given us to help our kids grow in their understanding of you and their love for you and to be able to enter that kingdom life that you call us to. And God, we are so looking forward to being back together when we are able to and to experience the joy of being together and God to just renew our commitment to nurturing our kids and discipling them and passing our faith on to the next generation. So help us to think well about that also. In Jesus' name, amen. 
All right, please send in your gifts and uh, cards of thanksgiving to Jonathan. And uh, looking forward to interacting with you on Sunday. God bless.